This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's ATEC taking on Arborview. This is the Varsity Quiz Blue League Championship. Hello and welcome to the 53rd season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and brightest high school students match wits in this unique academic competition. Now, as we hope you know, there are now two Varsity Quiz leagues in each season's competition. There were 23 schools in the Blue League in four divisions. Tonight, the question is, which team becomes the champion? ATEC or Arborview? It's time to meet our starters for the advanced technologies for ATEC. We have Sovinjet. Hi, Sovinjet. Good to Hello. see you. Olivia, howdy. There's Jackie, hi Jackie, and Wade is back, the team from ATEC. Now the players for Arb Review. We have Cecilia, hi Cecilia, and Ari, and Braden, and Zachary. Ladies and gentlemen, Arb Review. Let's play Varsity Quiz. In which state are these Coast Guard units located? Salisbury Beach, Provincetown, Woods Hole, Gloucester, New Bedford, and Oak Bluff. Arborview, Braden. Rhode Island. Incorrect. Uh, ATEC, Wade. Maryland. Incorrect. We're looking for Massachusetts. We move on. No points yet. In 1990, U.S. forces mounted Operation Desert Shield in defense of what country from an impending Iraqi invasion? Arborview, Zach. Kuwait. Incorrect. ATEC, Jackie. Iran. Incorrect. Saudi Arabia is what we're looking for. What, ca what category of nutrients is largely eliminated in the following diets? Ketogenic, Atkins, Paleo. Our review, Braden. Lipids or fats? Incorrect. Atkins diet, Paleo diet, and the South Beach diet. ATEC, Jackie. Carbohydrates? Yes, points on the board and a deduction for our review. Here's a question. This remark is about what literary character? Did you think the villain was the whale? The villain's not the whale, it's the megalomaniac at the helm. ATEC, Wade. Moby Dick. Incorrect. Arborview, Ari. Captain Ahab. Yes. Points on the board for Arborview. What string of four letters has nine different pronunciations in this single sentence? A rough coated, dough faced, thoughtful plowman. ATEC, Olivia? O-U-G-H. Yes, points for ATEC as we move on to a calculation question. Leon saved up and bought a new car at the Henderson Auto Mall. The price was $30,000. How much did he pay in sales tax? Repeating, Leon bought a new car at the Henderson Auto Mall, $30,000 price. How much did he pay in sales tax? Arbor View, Braden? $323.75. Incorrect. And time, the answer, $2,512.50. Moving on, which recurrent advertising character returned immediately prior to the start of the broadcast of the Allstate Sugar Bowl when he stole the game's large trophy? We're looking for mayhem. We move on. What kind of verbs are the following? Blow up, call off, find out, give in, and ATEC, Sovinjet. Brazel. Yes. Uh, these songs come from which Broadway musical comedy? Dentist. Somewhere. ATEC, Jackie. Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Next question. In the comic strip Peanuts, neighbors of Charlie and Sally Brown are the Van Pelts. Their names are Lucy, Linus, and blank. Rerun. Next question. Which term that originally referred to freebooters and buccaneers now refers to the obstructionist tactic involving prolonged speech making? Arborview, Zach. Filibuster. Yes, points for Arborview. Next question. Please spell the term for the partly digested food mass in the duodenum that is a homophone for the sound of a bell. ATEC, Sovinjet. K-N-E-L-L. -L. Incorrect. 
the, t uh, the spelling is, the word is chime, and we're looking for C-H-Y-M-E. No points. Next question. Okay, you're spending a Saturday at a college football game in a stadium where you hear this announcement. Welcome to Death Valley. People around you are screaming for the Tigers. The band's playing Tiger Rag. You are on the campus of which ACC University? Arborview, Zach. Clemson. Yes. Uh, we move on to this question. Which U.S. federal holiday is the most recent addition to the calendar? <phone rings> ATAC Wade. Juneteenth. Yes. A calculation question now. What is the mechanical advantage in terms of distance if a driving gear has a 12-inch diameter and the driven gear has a 9-inch diameter? Repeating. What's the mechanical advantage in terms of distance if a driving gear... <phone rings> And we'll go with ATAC, Olivia. Three-fourths. Pardon me? Three-fourths. That is incorrect. Arborview, Braden. Four to three. No, we were looking for 1.33. No points. Next question. The following authors all lived for a while on which Florida island? Rosalind Brackenbury, Tom Corcoran, Judy Bloom, Ernest Hemingway. Arborview, Zach. Key West. Yes. Okay, on January 1st, it's noon in Las Vegas. What time would it be at the Greenwich Observatory in England? Arborview, Zach. 9 a.m. Incorrect. ATEC, Sylvan Jet. 7 p.m. No, it was 8 p.m., so no points. Next question. One evening, the Swifts playing cards with their neighbors after a deal came the comment, I have spades, diamonds, and clubs, said Tom blank. Arborview, Braden. Hearts. I don't think we can accept that. ATAC, Wade. Heart. No, we're looking for heartless Lee. Heartless Lee. No points. Next question. Peter was struggling with pain in his foot, so his primary care doctor referred him to a foot specialist. So what kind of a provider is Dr. Uh, ATAC, Olivia? Podiatrist. Yes. Which A.C. Doyle novel is concisely presented in this haiku-like summary? A family cursed. Fake beards, foggy moors, and a phosphorescent dog. Oh, Jackie was thinking about it. You'll hate yourself, the Hound of the Baskervilles. No points, next question. This excerpt comes from the first of a series of articles published in 1787. It seems to have been reserved to the people of this country to decide the important question whether societies of men are capable or not of establishing good government from reflection and choice or whether they're destined to depend on accident and force. Our review, Zach. The Federalist Papers. Yes. The LOC, or Line of Control, that's a line between which two nuclear-capable countries of Southern Asia? Arborview, Zach. China and India. Incorrect. Uh, ATAC, Jackie. India and Pakistan? Yes. Next question. Which famous prison once held the following people? Sir Walter Raleigh, Rudolf Hess, Elizabeth I, and Guy Fawkes? Arborview, Zach. Stockton Yards. Incorrect. A Tech, Wade. Tower of London. Yes. Next is a calculation question. So, given that the half life of titanium 44 is 63 years, how much of a sample of the element will still be radioactive at the end of four years? Repeating. The half life of titanium 44, 63 years. How much of a sample of the element will still be radioactive at the end of four years? ATAC, Sylvan Jet? 16%. No, that's incorrect. Uh, we were looking for 1 16th. One more question. Which grammatical constructions illustrated in the following? Barney Blabster, war hero, entrepreneur, devoted husband, and spinner of yarns is our candidate. And Barney Fife, the deputy of Maybury and friend of Andy Taylor, had delusions of grandeur. ATAC, Jackie? Parallel structure? Incorrect. They are a positives or showing a position. All right, that is the end of round one. But before we move on, great first round, let's learn more about our players. And we will start over here with ATEC and say hi to Sovan Jet. He's a junior. Hi, Sovan Jet. Hello. Hope you're having fun. Uh, our viewers may have heard of it, but maybe they haven't. Would you explain briefly what is a science Olympiad? Because you participated, right? Uh, yes. Science Olympiad is a club where 
there are events, including ones where you study a certain topic in considerable detail, like at a college level, for at least for high school divisions. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck with Science Olympiad. Are they doing that this year? Yes, they okay. are. Oh, okay, good luck with that. Good luck here at Varsity Course. Thank you, Sylvan Jet. Thank you. Uh, junior Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Good to see you again. Are kids still playing these two games that you listed as hobbies of yours? I would really hope so. Uh, I'm a very avid fan of both Minecraft and Dungeons and & Dragons, and I've been playing since around 6th or 7th grade. Right on. Well, keep, keep the Minecraft and D&D &D going, Olivia. Good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Here's Jackie. Hi, Jackie. She's a senior. Uh, how is speech and debate going? Uh, it's going pretty good. I do policy debate, which is like a two-on-two -two event where we look at government policies under a certain um, resolution. This year's actually water resources, which is pretty relevant here in Nevada. Wow, good stuff. Good luck with that. Good luck here on VQ. Thanks, Thank Jackie. You. And here is Junior Wade. Hi, Wade. Hey. Now, you are a prime example of one of the things that happens when you're a student at uh, an event or at a, a career technical academy or a magnet school. You can participate in sports, but you do that for the school in which you are zoned. So I understand that you do play a sport. Yes. Um, one of the least considered sports to be a sport, bowling. And who do you play for? I play for Bonanza. Has that already happened or is it happening? We're actually having our last three games next week. Well, good luck with that and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, ATEC, the Advanced Technologies Academy. <laughs> Let's meet our players from Arborview. We'll start with sophomore Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. Hi. Good to see you. You have listed something that, something that you have about you physically that people may not be aware of. Do you remember what you wrote down? Yes, so my knees are double jointed not to the point where like it's insane or anything, but it's enough to freak most people out. So basically your legs almost bend backwards? Yeah. Wow. Well, stay healthy and good <laughs> luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Cecilia. Here's senior Ari. Hi, Ari. Hey, what's up? Uh, well, I wanted to ask you about orchestra. How's orchestra going? It's going pretty good. I mean, is it possible to have concerts under these current conditions or do you guys just play amongst yourselves? We How actually do. Work? We have concerts with uh, limited amounts of parents in the theater at our school. Excellent. Again, you play? Violin, and awesome. I can also play cello. All right. Well, good luck with all that, and good luck here in Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Ari. Uh, here is Junior Braden. Hi, Braden. Hi, Nate. I know that we mentioned playing basketball. I wanted to talk a little bit more about that. Is that strictly recreational, or are you a competitor? Yeah, it's strictly recreational. I'm, I don't have hops, and I'm <laughs> not that tall, so, but I do love playing basketball. I have a basketball, I have a half court at my mom's house that I like to practice on a lot. But yeah, I, I gave up on my hooping dreams a long time ago. But it's, you, you're going to keep keep doing it. Yes, Good sir. for you, man. Good luck here in Varsity Quiz. Thank Thanks, you. Braden. And here is a senior, Zach. Hi, Zach. Hi. Did we talk about hiking before? I want to find out if you have a, a place that you really like to hike or whether you just want to go all over the place. Uh, right now, I mainly just do stuff around town, like Mount Charleston or out, out at Lake Mead. But there's definitely some more like national parks that I would like to go to. And awesome. Well, good out. luck with that. And good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, the students from Arborview. <laughs> the bonus round of our championship match is coming up right now. The score going into round two, ATEC with 40 points to Arborview's 20. Now ATEC is keeping their same players. We have two new players for Arborview. Let's say hello to Reese. Hi, Reese. Hi. Dig the bow tie. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to help you, but I love it. And also Tate. Hi, Tate. Hi. Good to have you here. Uh, Braden and Zach still here. All right, time starts as I begin this first question. This season's national championship of college football was decided January 10th. When the game was over, which mascot represented the victorious team? Arborview, Zach. Bulldogs. Nope. ATEC, Jackie. The dogs. Yeah, we needed the name. Ugga. So no points there. We move on to the next question for both teams. What general type of therapy utilizes dihydrogen oxide in one way or another, largely for pain relief, to stimulate blood? And that's Arborview, Reese. Hydrotherapy? Yes. Bonus questions now for Arborview only. Answer the following about therapies. First, coffee and tea, drinks popular throughout the world, must mean that the world's most popular psychoactive drug is Caffeine. blank. And second, What's the common name for painkillers such as oxycodone, hydrocodone, and fentanyl? Opioids. Yeah, 20 seconds. We, we good on caffeine and opioids? Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'd like to answer for the first question, caffeine. For the second question, opioids. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. It is a calculation question. You've been hired to paint a mural of Lake Winnipesaukee. 
The mural will be 7 feet tall, 12 feet wide. If you complete a preliminary sketch on paper that is 18 inches wide, how tall should the paper be? Repeating, you're hired to paint a mural at Lake Winnipesaukee, and we'll go to ATEC, Olivia. 10.5 inches. That is correct. Bonus questions now for ATEC only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, if the first Olympiad began in 776 BCE, in which year was the 10th Olympiad held? Second, if five out of 27 Venusians have an extra antler on their cones, how many extra antlered Venusians should you find in a population of 1,647 Venusians? Repeating, if the first Olympiad began in 776 BCE, in which year was the 10th Olympiad held? Second, if five out of 27 Venusians have an extra antler on their cones, how many extra antlered Venusians should you find in a population of 1,647 Venusians? Three over five? Three over five. Three over five. 348. What's the first one? 748? Captain, we need your answers. Uh, the first answer is um, 748 BC. The second answer is 305. I believe the second answer is correct. What was your first answer again? Uh, 748 BC. Yeah, that's incorrect. It was 740 BCE, but 305 is correct. Some bonus points, but not all. <laughs> now, a question for both teams. In 1857, Chief Justice Roger Taney held that blacks, slave, or free could not be citizens of the United States, ruling that which slave inherited by... And that'll be ATEC, Olivia? Dred Scott. Yes, bonus questions for ATEC only. Answer the following about the Supreme Court. First, the longest tenured member of the court was William O. Douglas. His tenure lasted 36 years, 209 days. Who is the longest serving member of the current court? Second, two presidents hold the record for naming the most justices at nine. One was George Washington. Who was the other? Why, why am I just blanking? Oh, Captain. Uh, first answer. First answer, Myers. Second answer, ja Andrew Jackson. Your first answer again? Um, Meyer. Okay, that's incorrect. They're both incorrect. We're looking for Clarence Thomas Ooh. and Franklin Roosevelt. No bonus points. This question for both teams now. Which French chemist said, a system in equilibrium when subjected to a stress resulting from a change in temperature, pressure, or concentration causing the equilibrium to be upset will adjust its position of equilibrium to relieve the stress and reestablish equilibrium? And that's ATEC, Olivia. Mendelov? Incorrect. Albert View Braden? Hook. No, it was Le Chatelier. No bonus questions, no points at all. We move to this question for both teams. Four presidents have died by assassination. Other presidents survived attempts. Further, some presidents' deaths by natural causes were suspicious, to say the least. For example, the wife of a president who died of a heart attack refused permission for an autopsy, raising questions about the death of which man who called for a return to normalcy? Arborview, Zach. Warren G. Harding. Yes. Bonus questions now for Arborview only. Answer the following about assassination attempts. First, which campaigning former president was shot in the chest but still gave a 90-minute speech before going to the hospital? Second, which president survived two different assassination attempts in the span of 17 days back in the 1970s? Did you raise one? Yeah, go for it. Okay, we'd like to answer for the first question, Theodore Roosevelt. For the second one, Jimmy Carter. Roosevelt is correct. The second was Gerald Ford. So some bonus points, but not all. Next question for both teams. Although he declined knighthood and an offer to be the British Poet Laureate, he was the first English language writer to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. Name the novelist and poet who was born in India and who spent much of his early adult life there. ATEC, Jackie. Rudyard Kipling. Yes, bonus questions now for ATEC only. Answer the following about literature. First... Limbo, lust, gluttony, greed, anger, heresy, violence, fraud, and treachery are the nine circles of hell, according to what 19th century Italian author? Second, doubters about the actual identity of what British author are collectively referred to as anti Stratfordians? Captain, your answers, please. The first answer is Dante, the second answer is Kafka. Dante is correct. The second, Shakespeare. <laughs> Some bonus points. That is the end of the bonus round. Speed round next. The score going into round three, ATEC with 65 points to Arborview's 45. Anything can happen in the speed round. Now, ATEC is keeping their same players. We have one new player for Arborview. We say hey to Ty. How's it going? Let's go. 
Built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, Nottingham Castle is near what fabled forest? Atac, Jackie. Sherwood? Yes. What isotope of hydrogen has no neutron? Atac, Wade? Each one. Incorrect. Arbor View tie. Deuterium. No, it's protium. What Central American country has no border on the Pacific? Arbor View, Zach. Belize. Yes. What, uh, with a name combining that of a color with a synonym for rock, what was the name of the rocket modified by Werner von Braun's team that launched the first U.S. astronaut into space? Did they get in in time? We will go, who was that? Arborview Braden. Red Comet. Incorrect. And so we're looking for Red Stone. No points, we move on. What's the first line in the verse by Samuel Coleridge in which the following is the last line? Nor any drop to drink. The first part was water, water everywhere. Uh, for whom is Clark County Route 215, the part west of the I-15? Who's that named after? Arborview, Zach? Bruce Woodbury. Yes. What's the common name for an adipocyte? It's a fat cell. If you arrange the subtractive primary colors alphabetically, which one's first? Atex, Sovinjet? Cyan. Yes. Calculation question not repeated in this round. At what point do the lines 2x plus 3y equals 5 and x equals negative 2? At what point do those lines intersect? Arborview, Braden. Negative two, three. Yes. Next question. Which state's license plate declares first in flight? Arborview, Zach. North Carolina. Yes. Alexei, the son of Nicholas and Alexandria, suffered from which blood? Arborview, Reese. Hemophilia. Yes. In baseball, before the athletics moved to Oakland, the team called two other cities home. Name one of them. Arborview, Zach. Kansas City. Yes, the other Philadelphia. You get those points. Uh, what's the term for a crude model of a detested person that's burned as a way of expressing dissent? Atec, Olivia. Effigy. Yes. What, who serves as Nevada's Attorney General? Arborview, Zach. Adam Laxalt. Incorrect. At one time he might have been, but the current one is Aaron Ford. Next question is a calculation question. Given that A equals 3, what is the expression 2 divided by 1 over 7 plus 1 over A? What does that equal? We'll go with A tech, so Vinjet. 14 and 1 third. Incorrect. We're looking for 4.2 or 21 fifths. Next question, using the names of letters in the Greek alphabet, express the abbreviation for the United Kingdom. Atex, Sovinjet. Upsilon Kappa. Yes. The battles of Jutland, Verdun, the Marne, and Bello Wood were all battles in which war? I think that was after the buzzer. So uh, the answer was the Great War or World War I. Next question, if the cone-shaped cells in a person's retinas fail to produce the correct photopigments, what visual defect results? <phone rings> Atec, Jackie. Color blindness? Yes. The Rashidun Caliphate, the first caliphate, was established in the year 632, immediately after whose death? <phone rings> Arborview, Zach. Mohammed. Yes. According to the 2020 U.S. Census, which state is the least populous. I review, Zach. Wyoming. Yes. The two major categories of plankton are phytoplankton and what other? ATAC, Jackie. Photoplankton. Pardon me? Photoplankton. Incorrect. We're looking for zooplankton. In the following sentence, Fred and Nikki chased Leon around the tree. Who or what was the direct object? Atec, Jackie. Leon. Yes. The orbit of which dwarf planet is closest to the sun? Atec, Wade. Pluto. Incorrect. 
Our review, Zach. Series. Yes. What is Australia's southwesternmost major city? Our review, Zach. Perth. Yes. Kinetic energy is not conserved in what type of collision? Uh, ATEX, Ovenjet? Inelastic. Yes. Who became the uncontested ruler of Rome upon the deaths of Mark Antony and Cleopatra? Our review, Zach. Julius Caesar? No. We're looking for Octavian or Augustus. Name the point halfway between the focus and directrix of a parabola where the parabola makes its sharpest turn. And that's uh, ATEX, Ovenjet? Vertex. Yes. What is the absolute phrase in the following sentence? She sauntered down the path to the historic chapel completely unaware of the fiend there. And that's our review, Reese. Completely? No. And uh, there was time on that. I think there was time on that. Okay, uh, Atex, Ovenjet? Completely unaware. That's incorrect. We were looking for completely unaware of the fiend there. We were looking for the whole phrase. And we're out of time, so let's find out who won. The final score, ATEC 105 to Arborview 90. How about a round of applause for both teams? A really good final match. But congratulations go to ATEC. Captain Jackie, here you go, and Olivia, the title VQ22 Blue League Champion. We hope you'll tune in next week for a lighthearted Blue League All-Star match. Thanks for watching Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS.